Brace the change. That's what Governor Ralph Northam asked Virginians to do during his State of the Commonwealth address tonight. Now we're getting a better idea of what that change could look like with a new party in power and a new agenda promising to take Virginia in a new direction. Governor Ralph Northam kicking off the 2020 legislative session with his State of the Commonwealth address Tuesday night, a session already making history. Tonight, after 400 years, the first women are leading this joint assembly. Let's all congratulate them. Touting the most diverse group of lawmakers yet and Democratic control over the legislature and the governor's mansion for the first time in 25 years. That means overwhelming support for many of the priorities Northam pushed tonight, from passing the Equal Rights Amendment. We begin a new era. We spell that E-R-A. To criminal justice reform. It's time to temper justice with mercy. To restoring women's reproductive rights. No more will legislators in Richmond, most of whom are men, be telling women what they should and should not be doing with their bodies. But perhaps the most talked about topic Northam saved for last. Virginians spoke in November and they expect votes and laws to make Virginia safer. Democrats pushing for gun control with measures Northam says are fully consistent with the Second Amendment. No one is going door to door to confiscate guns. These laws are intended to keep Virginians safe, period. It is time to act. The start of what's sure to be a dramatic session with the eyes of the Commonwealth on Richmond. Our hardest days are behind us and our greatest days ahead. Republicans are responding to Northam's State of the Commonwealth address tonight, saying they are hopeful but deeply concerned about where Virginia seems to be heading. They also vowed to continue defending the constitutional rights of all Virginians. You can read more about the governor's priorities for this session on our website, WSLS.com.